So as of right now, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the new film Mad Max Fury Road. George Miller himself came out as a feminist saying that his film is deep embedded with a message of feminism. And quite frankly, if that's what feminism is really about, I'm actually 100% okay with it because this film was one of the best action movies of all time, the past decade in my personal opinion. And I'm going to say it right here, this is going to contain very minor spoilers about the movie. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Tom Hardy isn't even the main character of this film. Rather, the film sets up his character for the next installment of Mad Max. That being said, we're presented with a character known as Furiosa, a character that was taken away from her family by these wasteland scavengers. And as I walked out of the film, the first thing I said to myself is that film had amazing, badass, motherfucking female characters. And that's not something that I can actually say about any film that I've ever seen in the cinema. Characters that you're like, yeah, man, you're fucking badass. Characters that you like, characters that you support. This main character, Furiosa, is not some little whiny bitch who you just want to see shot and out of the story. I was sitting back and cheering this character on, and if it wasn't for her inspiration, she would not have been able to save the young girls that she was saving. Because the overall message of this film is Mad Max not only building his humanity, back was also explaining against domestic violence against women and that women are not actual objects because that's where the main story comes in that Furiosa tries to save these young girls who are literally just being bred to have this guy's children. They are literal sex slaves for this villain. And what does she do? She rescues them and tries to get them to freedom along with meeting up with a bunch of other characters in the process and other women across the wasteland of the desert. And quite frankly, I'm going to say that this has some of the best action sequences within the past decade if not in the past 20 to 30 years. This movie is a literal roller coaster. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. At most out of the two hours and 15 minutes that this film runs, maybe at least 20 minutes or 15 minutes at most, the film actually stood still, not in constant motion. Which makes me wonder how long it actually took to produce a film like this, because a lot of the stunts, a lot of the action sequences were actually real stunts. This was not some, you know, CGI. There's a little bit of CGI in the film, but overall, and them jumping over vehicle to vehicle with poles and throwing spears, that was all real and authentic stunts. Something that you really don't see in a lot of films nowadays. There are films nowadays just likes to test us, like with the new Jurassic World coming out, with, hey, look, 99% of the film is all CGI. And don't get me wrong, I like CGI, but there is a point where you can completely overdo it and I can't take a lot of the things seriously that happen in films when it's so clear, always CGI. I personally feel as if films nowadays are constantly trying to compete with who can have the best computer-generated images with things. And I would rather personally have an animatronic robot, dinosaur like in the original Jurassic Park with a little bit of animation, rather than the whole film being, oh well, animation. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles, I encourage you to go see Mad Max Fury Road because it is a fantastic reboot of the original, which if you haven't seen my video I posted two days ago, link down below, Who is Mad Max, which explores his character if you haven't seen the previous three films, a start of my new series, which is going to be a, try to be a weekly thing. This film will blow your mind away. And yes, domestic violence against women is a serious thing. And yes, domestic violence against men is a serious thing. But I honestly have no problem with the message of this film being against domestic violence, George Miller coming out as a feminist, and the film being about that women are not simply sex objects. I'm not gonna critique a film and say this was horrid because of that, because honestly it demonstrated these strong female characters, which again, I haven't seen done in cinema I don't think ever like this film has done. And because of that, I have respect for George Miller making these strong female characters so badass as they are, rather than always going the typical route of making the character a male. That's my review of Mad Max Fury Road. Definitely check it out and check out my video down below from two days ago on Who is Mad Max. And if you haven't already, please check out my Patreon. I've been responding to patrons nonstop the past day, and I have some amazing perks if you want to have a handwritten letter from me or a sexy time Skype call.